I play on a V3, but I love the C range as well. People kept coming to me and saying, I really want to play one of your mouthpieces. Do you have a 5G? And the answer was, no. There's another company that has those. Why don't you buy it from them? We redesigned the mouthpieces. We looked at it from our own perspective. So no, I don't have a 5G. And the questions kept coming and coming and coming. So we said, well, okay. If people want a classical style of mouthpiece, let's develop a C range. And we found um, a really old, you know, long since forgotten mouthpiece that was very popular, you know, 50, 60, 70 years ago. And we found it, it was great. I loved the sort of like really shiny, bright, exciting sound. And um, we adapted it, we changed it, we didn't just copy it, we took the philosophy, the shape of the cop, and we worked with it and to bring it up to date. And so that's the C range, it's a classic range. Um, it's our take on the classic design of mouthpiece. Again, there's lots of them in the C range. As, as the mouthpiece goes bigger, as the cup goes bigger, the outside goes bigger. And this one is a prototype, it doesn't even have a number on it. I think it's the one around about a four point something. I'd, l I'd love to play on this. I love the precision, but alas, I've got so accustomed to the V3 rim just being that little bit wider and having that high point in the middle that I don't play on one of these. I wish my embouchure could switch between the two. I love it. If you're looking for that piping clear sort of classic kind of sound, give the C range a try. Okay. 